Hey everybody, happy Friday. Today we're busting the myth of five meals a day. I'm just kind of lounging around on a Friday, still in my glasses, messy hair, hoodie. Titus is taking a nap. You see Roger? Hi, Rog. My best little buddy. Check out this pond back here. I wanted to tell you a little bit something about Dr. Dan and my brothers and our family. See this, this pond? So this is the back of my parents' house. We decided to put the jet ski on the pond. And then we decided we could probably pull a kayak. I should post a picture, it's totally worth it. So my brother is in the kayak holding a ski rope on the back of the jet ski and my dad is driving him around the pond. It was hysterical. Talk about your redneck fun. It was, it was, it was an epic day in the Bonham Edmonds household. Uh, so anyways, I wanna to talk to you about um, five meals a day. This is something like I remember uh, even when I was on the rowing team at Cincinnati, so playing college sports, they're like five meals a day. When you eat smaller meals, uh, you're gonna burn it differently. Your metabolism's gonna be higher. Uh, this is the way that you're gonna lose weight instead of like eating bigger meals and stuffing yourself. However, the facts are in, the research is here, and this is a falsehood, okay, my friends? So every time you eat, every time you put something in your mouth that is not water, uh, your insulin spikes, okay? So when that happens and you're constantly eating multiple times, your insulin is just on this roller coaster all day long and that can get really, uh, well, it's confusing and it's frustrating for your body, but that is also how we start developing uh, insulin resistance. So what we want to do is shrink the window of when we are eating and therefore we're lowering the, the amount of times and the total amount of insulin that, that we're pumping out and we become more sensitive to insulin. So for example, uh, our, you know, <clears throat> excuse me, the classic example is if someone has type two diabetes, right? They, that is essentially an insulin resistance. Well, we also know that insulin is a hormone. So um, then we also know that our body uh, could be resisting other hormones. Um, I mean, that, everything is hormones, right? We have, we have tons of them. So we've busted the myth. I hope that was simple and clear. Uh, it is better to eat in a smaller window. So we don't want to eat less. We want to eat less often. Okay. So, uh, we're inviting you to join us on a journey because all of this information about fasting and about stem cells and about insulin and blah, 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 some of it, it just, I mean, it kind of in one ear and out the other. And even if we've, uh, you know, we own it for, uh, well, maybe even a couple weeks, it's not always something that sticks. So what we want to do, we want to give you the tools. We're, we're going to set you up with a workbook where you have questions and journaling and it walks you through it. Uh, and we're also going to meet once a week, uh, whether it's by video or at the office. And we're going to coach you through that next week so that you can train your body how to fast. So just like training for a marathon, just like training for anything, um, you can train your body to burn fat instead of sugar and become more sensitive to your hormones and decrease and, and potentially reverse health conditions. And I'm so excited we're going to launch it on January 12th. So check out the Eventbrite listing and uh, we'll, we'll post that here. And it, it's going to be so much fun. And then after that, seven weeks, we're going to train your body how to fast. We're going to walk you through it. And yeah, so... Hope you learned something today. We'll see you soon. Happy Friday. So.